What's up everybody, it's Jasmine. Ooh, look at my dog painting. It's like falling out of the frame. I gotta fix that. My poor dogs, you know, I spent so much time on them. Anyway, okay, so I'm really annoyed at YouTube. Kind of hugely confused because I don't understand how this is happening. Um, but anyway, I have recently found this channel on YouTube, which has only just started uploading videos. It's been a week and the videos are still up. The channel's still up and available. Um, yeah. Okay. So the thing about this channel is that it's a, a an eating disorder, what you'd call a pro Anna, uh, YouTube channel. So what pro Anna is, it's pro anorexia and it's like this idea that anorexia isn't an eating disorder it's a lifestyle and so basically you get uh oftentimes websites that bring people who have the eating disorder uh or people who want to lose weight in a very restrictive calorie way uh it like brings them all together onto one platform and then they share tips and ideas and and basically uh live and as a community under the delusion that they're not really sick but that it's a lifestyle that they choose but then on the other hand you also have like i guess the majority who um who do acknowledge that they have uh, a real health issue but they don't want to change so it, it's kind of confusing because the idea of pro anorexia is that it's a lifestyle and not an illness but the majority of the people do recognize that it's an illness so it's, like, it's it's problematic anyway um so this youtube channel not on this webs not on any of these websites but on youtube itself um is a pro anorexia webs uh youtube channel and it's um it's not telling people that they should be doing what they're doing or anything like that but it's uh the person in the video uh, encourages people to uh, watch her videos uh, while they're doing the same things. Like, okay, you're eating uh, a really low calorie diet, so you know, watch this video, hang out with me, you know, let's, you know, watch this video together and not eat, basically. Like, that's what it comes across as in the videos. And not only that, but it's really obvious that that's what these videos are about because the titles are uh very much uh, uh pro and a title so it's like what i eat on a regular day which i mean that could be any youtube channel but it's got in brackets edtw which is eating disorder trigger warning um and that one's like okay you know that could just be someone who's trying to recover or something like it could be something positive uh but it's not it's it's like her trying to uh eat as little as possible and you know uh talking to uh her audience and the audience that she thinks that she has is people who have uh eating disorders or who want to eat in, in a disordered eating way um that's who she uh, talks to in these videos. Uh, then the next video is binge with me, ED trigger warning again. Uh, so binging uh, with uh, uh, pro Anna uh, is that's also something that I um, see for me. I think that people who want to be in a community who want to um, talk with other people who have disordered eating or eating disorders i can understand the want to do that uh, but i think that one of the biggest problems that comes up with uh, these sorts of websites is that they sort of escalate the eating disorder itself uh, because the idea of having a group of people who have eating disorders um, that could be a positive thing like maybe they would help each other to get better right uh, but when when they get together they talk, they say things like 
you know, I binged today or, and I binge ate and I, you know, I didn't do enough exercise and things like that. They say these things. Uh, and binge eating is where you, you know, the technical term is where you uh, eat the majority of your calories in one day. And in reality, it, it should be uh, people who, you know, have eaten a normal amount of food in a day like, you know, 2,000 calories. Um, but then they go and eat another 1,000 calories in one meal or even more than that. That is what like binge eating is. Um, but with eating disorders, binge eating could be like, I eat 200 calories a day, uh, but instead I ate 500 calories. And then they call that a binge eating. And the problem with that is that they then go on to believe that they have binge eating disorder and that they uh, need to restrict their calories as much as they can because they actually don't have anorexia, they have binge eating disorder. Um, and so basically they go into like the spiral of, um, you know, I'm not anorexic, I'm somebody who binge eats and I would binge eat my way up to, you know, a billion kgs. And that's one of the things that I think is one of, like a really big problem with uh, these sorts of websites and these sorts of communities. Okay, and so then the next video is watch this if you're fasting, restricting, or currently binging, uh, or prone, or or currently binge prone. And so she's um, like encouraging people to not eat, uh, to not binge as they say, which would really be eating like a normal meal basically. Um, and then the next video is follow me while I fast, ED trigger warning again. And then the next video is a day of mold restriction, ED trigger warning. Um, what does mold restriction mean? It could mean like 1000 calories or less. Uh, binging from 1am all day, ED trigger warning. And then it says 1500 plus calorie binge. Uh, and I haven't watched this video. But probably what happens is that she hasn't eaten all day and then she eats 1,500 calories worth of food, which is like less than a normal person, right? So that's not even <laughs> binge eating, you know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, I'm really annoyed about this because it's not like the YouTube computer algorithm system doesn't know that these videos are about eating disorders, right? Because it says it in the title that it's about eating disorders and that it's about, uh, you know, losing weight and uh, restricting your calories and things like that. So there isn't any excuse for the videos to be there, you know, and uh, YouTube has policies about um, not having harmful content on its website. And this is harmful content because she's getting people who uh, want to uh, get into uh, anorexia to watch these videos, you know, and so she wants people to watch her videos and to restrict with her to eat unhealthily to, you know, feed their eating disorder or their disordered eating and that's the whole aim of these videos. So it's so perfectly clear that it's not appropriate for YouTube, uh, a, com a, a website that is supposed to be not showing harmful, harmful content to people. And I just can't believe it. Like, I don't understand why it's there because it's not being hidden. You know, it's not, uh, it's not like she doesn't have uh, eating disorder in the title. It's not like she doesn't have calorie restriction in the title. She doesn't have any, like she puts it, out there for everybody to see so it's not like it's a difficult case for YouTube to see what it's all about so yeah I want to know like what the heck YouTube is doing because it's not appropriate yeah and it's really concerning uh, another aspect is that her uh, she's only started uploading uh, one week ago and that's not very long and she's already got 146 views on one of the videos. And that's a lot, okay? Like, I don't even get 146 views on m most of my videos. So if she's getting that many views, um, then you can just imagine uh, how much reach 
she could have uh you know in a year i mean this has been like seven days and she's getting so many views what will it be like in a year if youtube just lets it keep on going so yeah that's my big problem i want to know what youtube's doing about it obviously not anything but i wish that they would yeah okay let me know what you guys think in the comments down below i'm pretty sure most of you guys would agree with me because I don't know a lot of people who are like, yeah, let's encourage eating disorders. Let's talk about it as though it's a lifestyle. Woo, yeah. Okay, anyway, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta go and like get off all of this negative energy. Anyway, I'll see you guys all next time. Hey,